Hello, people, and guess what we're doing today? It's totally not obvious because of the title or anything. We'll be doing the Q&A, so yeah, fun, unscripted video of me reading your questions and replying to your questions, yay. I'm not sure how many of them I'll answer. I know there are a few I didn't fully understand, but I'll be answering most of them. So anyway, because I know you all probably hate super long intros, we're gonna get to the point. Something that I struggle with doing. So we're just gonna go through the comments section and see what's there. Whale Animations asks, how do you draw fingers? And the answer to that is, I don't know, you magically do. Here, I'll put an explanation on the screen. If it sucks, then I'm sorry. Ali Myself asks, will you ever forget about me if you get big? By the way, can I just say thanks to all the people who actually believe I'm gonna get big? because I think you guys believe that a lot more than I do. But the answer to that question, if that does happen, no, I won't forget about you people because like, you're like my starting people and I love you all dearly. Shadow Animations asks, I have a question, how old are you? I think you're 16 or 18. Well, you guessed correctly because I am 16. Hyper Animations asks, what flavor milkshake do you like? Uh, I like vanilla. That's really original. Actually, fun fact, when we go to Baskin Robbins, my brother, he looks at literally every flavor and like takes a while looking at everyone and deciding what he's gonna get. And then at the end, every single time, he's like, I'll take vanilla. Like, why did you look at all of them if you just wanted vanilla? But yeah, I also like cookies and cream milkshakes. In fact, that would probably be my favorite. So, cookies and cream. Scar Pantry, or some other pronunciation, I don't really know how to say these things, asks, my question is, what got you into making music next to animation? The answer to that is my dad had a music studio a while ago. Actually, he still does, so I don't know what I mean by a while ago, it's still here. And at one point I asked if I could like try it out and stuff. And at first I was doing just piano and stuff, but then I discovered this magical thing called Omnisphere, which has all these cool synth electronic instruments. And I unlocked my electronic magical world of music. It was, it was amazing. It changed my life. <laughs> Jor asks, what's your top 10 story animators? I really should have thought this through before making this video because now I just have to randomly generate 10 out of the top of my head. Thanks for this question. <laughs> the odd one's out. Jaden Animations, Tony V Tunes, Let Me Explain Studios, Errol's Story is one of my favorites right now. And some of my favorites that are smaller YouTubers are like Sokka Scribbles. I really like Jeff Notes. I mean, he's a smaller animator, but like he has the coolest style ever and he like animates really smoothly and well, so shout out to him. And three other animators that my brain isn't generating. I know there are tons more because I literally am friends with so many people, but right now everything, when I'm actually asked questions, long story short, when I'm asked questions, my brain quits on me. Sokka Scribbles says, my question is, if tacos didn't exist, what would be your new favorite food? How in the world could you ask a question like this? That's just a sad thing to imagine, like a taco-less world of, of sadness. My new favorite food would be probably popcorn or some sort of other unhealthy thing. Scrittoons Animation asks, what do you use to animate? Every time I get this question, I tell myself I need to put this in my channel about page because other people do that and it's really helpful, but then I forget immediately after I think that. I'm probably gonna forget after making this video. Anyway, the answer to that question is I draw everything on Procreate with my iPad Pro and Apple Pencil, and I do all my editing on Sony Vegas Pro 14. Big Len Animations asks, are there any channels you gain inspiration from? If so, then what channels? One channel I really gain inspiration from is Jaden Animations because she's like, she's awkward and shy, kind of like how I am in public, but she's talented and makes great videos. Her face reveal video actually was really inspiring too. So yeah, she's probably one of the first people I watched. Toothpaste the Cat asks, my question is, what is thy favorite animal? It's whales. I actually have two uh, whale pictures on my wall. One of them I drew with colored pencils and markers and the other one my sister painted. So yeah, there's actually a kind of somewhat story on why whales are my favorite animal, but that'll probably be a separate video. Whale, I guess we should move on now. Okay, I, I've tried to say this so many times without laughing. Anyway, moving on from the puns. JMC Animations asks, why do you only have 300? 300 is my goal at the end of February. You deserve over 500. First off, I'll start by saying, I hope you reach your goal of 300 by the end of February. And second off, thank you so much, because honestly, I kid you not when I say people have more confidence in me than I do. So when they say things like that, it, it really boosts my confidence. You all are really kind and supportive and I love you for that, thank you. EC Animations or Ek Animations. I hope no one kills me for pronouncing everyone's usernames wrong. What kind of superpower would you like to have? My two favorite superpowers are invisibility and flight. One reason for that is because for some unknown reason in my dreams, sometimes I have the power to do both of those things, which is really weird, but you know, it's kind of cool. I've wanted to fly ever since I was three because you know, who wouldn't want to fly? It's just the coolest thing ever. It's probably like everyone's answer, but like flight is awesome. This is funny. The next question is from the classic Centrion and he asks, can you fly? Yes, I can fly. It's one of my magical abilities that I just gained after reading the last question. Brand the Kid Animation asks, what inspired you to start the U-Tubs? <laughs> and where is your taco stash? I want some. Well, funny story, I actually started the U-Tubs because people I knew in real life were getting YouTube channels and doing like vlogs and stuff. And I thought, 
you know, as the shy kid I was, wouldn't it be cool if I could, like, actually do something and show people I can make videos and make a YouTube channel? And I talked to my sister about it, and she suggested, why don't you make an animation channel? Apparently, I took this comment way more seriously than she did, because she forgot about it, literally, like, probably the same day of suggesting it. Whereas I remembered it, and started a YouTube channel that very month. The magical month of August. And also, funny side note, I did this because people I know in real life had YouTube channels, and I never told any of them I made this channel. So yeah, so far the experience has been pretty fun. Sam Toon says Q&A questions. How do you make your music step by step? That's actually a really good question, but since this could take possibly more than half of the video to answer since it's not like a simple thing to explain, I might dedicate a whole video just to this topic. So yeah, sorry I didn't answer that how you probably wanted me to. <laughs> Will you promote my channel because I'm your favorite Sam of all time? Yeah, Sam to subtunes. And one final question, do you like chemistry? Like I'd be down for throwing my chemistry book into a fire. So yeah, I don't know if that answers your question. Common Senseless asked age, which I've already answered 16. They also ask favorite Disney movie. I actually have no idea what my favorite Disney movie is. I've watched Disney movies, but since I'm not really a TV person, it's hard for me to force myself to sit down and watch a movie. And because of this, I don't do it a lot and I don't really know what my favorite movie is. They also ask, what do you put on your tacos? The magical, amazing, and fabulous ingredients of meat, beans, lettuce, and cheese. And then there you go, you have a bite of heaven. Your favorite cartoon? I don't know this either because again, the TV thing. What? Genres or genres. I don't know how to pronounce this word. I'm realizing in this video that I cannot pronounce things. Anyway, <laughs> what genres of music do you listen to? To tell the truth, I don't always know the genres of the songs I'm listening to, which makes me sound stupid, but I just pick a song, I listen to it, I like it, and I never really find out what genre it is. One genre that I do actually like though is pop, so there's that. Heromations asks, what's your favorite YouTuber? Who's your favorite YouTuber? I have like a million favorite YouTubers, so I don't know. But if I had to pick my favorites, I'd probably say Errol Story, Jaden Animations, people like that. Mew Lee Animations? I could be pronouncing that wrong. Big surprise, it's not like I've been pronouncing things wrong the whole video or anything. If you play video games, what games do you enjoy playing? Well, this would be a great question for literally everyone else in my family because they're playing things like Half-Life and Portal and all this other big game stuff. And I don't play games, and when I do, it's like Mario Kart. That's my gaming limit. I am an official gamer. I can occasionally maybe win around a Mario Kart. Raw Animation asks, if you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? This answer is totally 100% surprising, and I know none of you saw this coming, but it would be tacos. Also, just a side note, some people ask the same questions that were already asked, and if that's the case, I'm not going to be answering those again just because you already know the answers now. So if your question doesn't get asked, it's just a possibility that it might be the same as someone else's question. Anyway, the meme side asks, what's the one thing you have done and regret? What a positive question. <laughs> there are a lot of serious life things I can think about, but I don't think you need to hear those. So we're just going to go with, I regret all of those times I could have saved up money for something that was actually useful. Angelo Animates asks, how do you stay motivated to upload on YouTube? There are kind of multiple reasons for this. Because some days I actually don't feel very motivated. It's not because of YouTube, YouTube's perfectly fine, nothing wrong is going on there. But it's just because, you know, you have those days where you wake up and think, I don't want to do anything today. And you're just generally not in the mood to really do anything, is basically what it is because of stuff. But there are some things I do to stay motivated and keep uploading videos even when I don't feel like it. Thing one, I've realized that YouTube channels, in order to grow, they have to be pretty consistent. And since I do really want to try at this YouTube thing, even though right now I'm only at 300, I want to do the best I can to put in all my effort and show people that I really am trying. And I know you're all sitting there like, Liz, you're not consistent. You've gone three weeks before without posting anything. And the reason for that, my friend, is because these videos take a really long time to make. It's not that I wasn't working on them those three weeks, it's just that they were taking longer to get finished. Sometimes what you really need to do is just take a short break, step away from drawing, and do something else. Some people struggle with this, you feel like you always need to be working on it, and in a way I do think you should definitely work on it as much as you can. You know, you need to be consistent, but at the same time don't stress over it. Your best work comes from when you actually want to do something, so sometimes that's kind of where music comes into play for me. When I'm tired of animating and don't feel like working on it, I'll sit at my keyboard and work on songs, or I'll do something else, like maybe just write, get my mind in a better place, so that I can get back to positively working on my content. <laughs> hope that helped. This was all rambling and I hope it made sense. Royalty Free Music, which by the way is a great music channel. They featured one of my songs once. They're really nice. Go sub to them. They said, you're very good at combining colors in your animations. How do you decide which colors go well with each other? Actually, the answer to that is I don't really know. Believe it or not, I know nothing about color combinations. And I know you're watching this video and thinking, Liz, you're a liar. You obviously know something. You're an artist. Actually, in a lot of my drawings, I just kind of wing the colors because I like them. 
and I just silently hope that everyone else likes them too. <laughs> the tiny bit of color advice that I do have comes from my sister, because she's actually a professional artist. She knows all the art terms, she paints realistic portraits, like I'm not kidding you, they literally look realistic. She's won competitions with her art before, she just knows what she's doing. And then I'm here like, yeah, I draw cartoons and make YouTube videos of my cringy life moments, I don't know what any of this is called, I don't know the art terms, I don't know the color combinations, I just draw randomness and hope for the best. Danimations asks, purple or taco? I don't know if you're talking about just the color purple, or if I'm missing something something, but considering tacos are great, I vote taco. Danimations also asks, what's your favorite thing to get at the legendary Taco Bell? I like chalupas. By the way, that was his answer. I've never actually eaten a chalupa. I like the word though, chalupa. My favorite thing to get at Taco Bell is tacos. Shocker. I kind of feel really stupid for admitting this, but when we first started going to Taco Bell, I didn't know they had tacos, so I didn't like it that much because I didn't know tacos were an option. And so one day my mom suggests tacos, and I'm like, they have tacos? And she's just there like, Elizabeth, it's- it's Taco Bell. Geek Animations asks, why do you heart everything? I realize what he meant by this is I heart pretty much every comment, and the reason for that is because YouTube doesn't always alert me when I get a new comment, so I heart the ones I see so that when I scroll through the comment section I know if I've already read it, and if I see one that doesn't have a heart then I know I haven't read it yet and I read it and yeah. Unless it's a hate comment. If it's a hate comment telling me that I suck, I probably won't heart it because that'd be a little weird. W1Q Animations, or I usually just read it as Wick Animations, he asks, friends? Yes, we are friends. We've been friends for a while, so yay. Vanessa Smith asks, when do you think you'll do a face reveal? I've actually thought about that before, and I don't know, but it'll be quite a bit later. I probably will do it at some point though. I'll probably have at least 1k by the time I do it, but I'm not sure when exactly. I just want it to be a bit later. She also asks, when will you do songs? I do already have two songs on my channel, but what she means by this is we have actually had a conversation before about how I write songs with lyrics and stuff, and I actually do have some songs that besides the vocals are already finished, so really all I need to do is record the lyrics and everything and they'll be done. The reason I haven't done that yet is I need to buy this thing called Nectar. It's like this pack of effects you can add to your vocals. I'm not using autotune or anything, I'm just trying to find other effects that are more echoey and help go with the mood of the songs. She also asks, are you willing to do other people's stories? I probably wouldn't animate other people's stories just because it's easier for me to share an experience I've actually faced, but if you want to put your stories out there on the internet, you can always make videos telling them or learn how to animate. I watch videos all the time on other people's stories and they're really entertaining, so if you're interested in doing it, you should go for it. Keegan Animations asks, am I a person? Hopefully. Keegan Animations also asks, could you do skits? I might one day, but as of now, I'll probably be sticking to the story animations. Keeg Animations asks, how do you draw arms? So I'll try to put a good explanation on the screen. If there's nothing there, it means I failed. BB Ray Animations asks, can you draw yourself in a dramatic anime style or adorable chibi style? I will try. Here's what I came up with. If there's not a dramatic anime one there, it's because I don't watch anime and don't really know entirely exactly how to draw them. Keeg Animations asks, wanna collab? I'm usually available, so you just need to message me on Skype or Discord or Instagram, and I'll email you the lines. I'm actually gonna have some collabs on my channel in the future. I'm working on one right now, but I'd rather you not ask to be a part of the ones on my channel, just because usually I already have a person in mind, or, you know, I don't do collabs all the time, so if you ask to be in a collab on my channel, I might not be working on one, or, yeah, I've run out of words to say. But if you need anything on your channel, I'm here. Keep in mind, it takes me a while to message people collab audio, I've realized that over time, and it's because I don't have a ton of recording time. Giovanni Quintana asks, what type of dog do you have? I have a beagle. Floofy draws asks, do you think you're cringe? That depends. I think everyone has those moments they look back on and seriously question what they were doing or why they were thinking what they were thinking or if they were thinking period. So yeah, I've had my I've had my cringy moments. Thick Animations asks, if you were an animal, what animal would that be? Now whales are my favorite animal, but if I were an animal, I'd probably be a cheetah because they're fast and they look beautiful. At the same time though, they look really violent and dangerous. So you know, it's a combination of things. CJ Arts asks, do you know the way? Just, just no. No, I don't. Okay, just no. He also asks, have you ever considered making a Discord? I already have a Discord. I have a server too that my friend Samtoons made for me because I forgot to make my own server. I'm not the most active on it, but I respond to messages and stuff. So if you want to message me, I have it. It's Liz Draws and the numbers are hashtag 3828. I think. J Films asks, what do you like in your tacos? I know this has already been answered, but I just want to point out the fact that he said he liked chicken in his, and chicken is the wrong way to go. Chicken in tacos is not correct. It's beef. You need beef in your tacos. Chicken is like the dark side. Don't, don't go there. Milky Wolf 530 asks, what was one of the first animators or animations you have watched? I'm not sure if this is the first one I ever watched, but the first one I remember watching was a video by the Odd Ones Out, and I think it was about chaperoning seventh graders. Kelly Animation asks, can you draw me please? And someday I might draw some of you guys. I think that'd be cool. But right now, I'm probably not gonna focus on that too much just because as I'm making the recording for this, I'm working on four different videos at one time. Needless to say, I'm drawing like a ton of things already, so. Breadbox Productions asks, 
Do you drink water with or without ice? Fun fact, I actually drink it without ice. The reason for this is our ice maker in our fridge just kind of broke on us one day. And so for like a few years, I just kind of adjusted to drinking everything without ice. And now because I've done it so much, drinking things with ice makes them seem less flavorful. So I guess that doesn't really matter with water because water is kind of like flavorless. JT Presents asks, do you play an instrument? Yes, I do. My favorite instrument to play is piano. I play by ear, I write songs, and I also sometimes do arrangements of songs. More often than not, I write new songs. I can also play a bit of mandolin and I'm working on the ukulele currently. Adiamations asks, do you know Dewey? Stop! Stop asking me if I know the way! He also asks, do you have any weird slash unusual talents? I don't know, everything I do is suddenly just disappearing from my mind. I do have the talent of managing to pull off a full-on conversation with myself. Side effects of being a lonely child. I can also breathe. Kimley Animations asks, what's your tooth- Brush -ish -ish. all these extra S's and H's. To put it simply, what's your toothbrush color? It is blue. Mindfox asks, what are some of your favorite songs or bands? I don't really have a favorite band and come to think of it, I don't really have a favorite song either. Every now and then I find a song and it's really good and it's like my favorite for a day. And then I quickly find another favorite song within a few hours and then the cycle repeats. And then some days I just don't have a favorite song. I don't even know if I have a favorite music artist. This is really sad. Raz Animations asks, what are your thoughts on 2018 memes? Believe it or not, I'm that lame person that doesn't know what half of the memes are. So I don't know, if you guys know some good memes, uh, comment your favorite memes, I guess. Hecktoons asks, what's your favorite kind of pizza? My response to that is non-existent pizza, because pizza sucks. Diamond Animations asks, what color is your teeth brush? Why are people so interested in my toothbrush? And the final question at the bottom of the comment section is Whale Animations, and he asks, why do you love tacos so much? Why wouldn't I love tacos? They're magical things and they make life magical. So yeah, there's your answer. Let's talk about how magical they make life. Anyway, that brings us to the end of the Q&A. If your question didn't get answered, it was most likely because it was already asked, okay? I don't hate you if I didn't answer your question. Before we stop the video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of your kind support. Literally, you guys do not know how much it means. I say that all the time, which probably makes it lose meaning. I might only have 300 subscribers, but all 300 of you are absolutely awesome. The fact that you watch the videos, you like the videos, your comments about how good they are, they make my day. They really do. And I'm looking forward to making more videos for you guys, and I have a lot in the making right now, so you have that to look forward to. There's one video I really want to make, but I can't find a specific book I need in order to make it. Anyway, I should probably stop this video because I have been recording for over an hour. This is the longest recording session I've ever had, and I'm just making it longer by adding all this randomness that I'm saying at the very moment. So anyway, have a wonderful day, eat more tacos, bye. Okay.